How are you going to get your toddler to eat more vegetables? This is something that a lot of people are grappling with. It's not just you. It's a video that a lot of people are requesting. So I'm going to help you help your baby eat more vegetables. First, I'm going to start with the three tricks that I have come up with that work for sneaking more vegetables into my daughter's daily routine. And then after that, I'll go into the basics just in case you don't already know if you haven't spent like a ton of time reading books and articles about how to get your baby or toddler to eat more vegetables. I'll go over the basics after I go over the sneaky tricks. Okay, sneaky trick number one. Veggie soups. These Amy's vegetable soups are super easy and they're tasty. I've been eating these since my early 20s. I'm still crazy about them now. And Trader Joe's makes a knockoff brand of this. It's not as good. It's cheaper and it's organic too, but I would highly recommend this one over that. This one right here is a lentil soup and it's loaded with lentils, which are high in iron, a good source of protein, good fiber, really healthy food. Lentils are amazing. And then that soup also loaded with all sorts of other vegetables like celery and carrots and spinach and my baby will eat this. They make other um, varieties too. There's one with uh, kale and quinoa, really, really tasty. It's got like onions and tomatoes in it. She loves that one too. Kale, my baby's eating kale. It's amazing. Another one I like is the black bean version. Also a really good source of iron and protein and fiber. And she really puts down that one as well. So they're really easy. You just heat them up on the stove. I don't warm them up too much. And then I can usually feed her about a third of a cup or more before she starts to, you know, get full. And then sometimes I let her feed herself a little bit after that to practice using the spoon. And that is a bloody mess. But, I mean, it's good. So she's learning to use a spoon. So I kind of just, you know, let her make a total mess all over the high chair. And then I have to clean it up. But those soups, really great for, you know, I'd say two or three maybe four lunches a week i use those soups to sneak a lot more vegetables like kale spinach carrots celery onions tomatoes quinoa all this awesome stuff into my daughter's lunches and i just love how easy it is to put them on the stove heat them up put them in a little baby dish with a little baby spoon and feed my daughter more vegetables next hack okay so this one's really cool if you haven't seen this yet veggie nuggets okay so babies notoriously like chicken nuggets i myself am a vegetarian so i don't buy chicken nuggets and i don't like mock meat those like um mock chicken fake chicken buffalo wings you know that sort of thing usually it's just really a lot of wheat gluten not really nutritious not good for your child really at all we already get enough grains in our diet as it is you don't need to use mock meat protein substitutes that are loaded with more grains so what i do is i buy veggie nuggets Yes, veggie nuggets are a thing. Hold up. These. You can find these. You can find these in like Target. You can find these in most grocery stores. You can either look where the um, baby centered foods are in the frozen section or um, sometimes they're close to the frozen vegetables or the organic frozen vegetables is where I find them. They also come in spinach littles. These are broccoli littles. But they also come in spinach littles. My baby likes these ones more than the spinach littles, but I can make these a couple times a week and she will put them down and she's eating broccoli. They do contain some potatoes and some onions. It's not all broccoli, but I mean, that really does kind of enhance the flavor. I've eaten these. They are tasty. I personally like them dipped in a little bit of ketchup. I don't try to give my baby that because it's too much sugar, but yeah, you can try them. They're pretty tasty. So those are one brand of veggie nuggets. Another way to find them is like, say you're on like Instacart or Anycart or any one of those online shopping apps, you can put in the word veggie fries or veggie rings. And there are these like frozen French fry or onion ring type things that are made with like broccoli and cauliflower. And they're just loaded with all of these veggies, but it doesn't seem like you're eating a lot of veggies. So it's a sneaky way to sneak in more veggies. Now I'm going, I'm going to show you my favorite one. These are at Trader Joe's sometimes, if you're lucky. They came out with them like, I don't know, maybe around six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, and they're sold out a lot of the time. So if you can find these, 
they're organic and they don't have any grains or potatoes. They're just like loaded with organic veggies and sunflower seeds and it's all organic. And they take 10 minutes in the toaster oven, which makes my life super easy. It makes it so great that I can just, oh, my baby's up from her nap. I'll pop these in the toaster oven. In 10 minutes, I have veggie nuggets and she's eating them and she's happy. And I feel good because she's eating healthy, organic vegetables. And it's like effortless on my part. All right, so that's number two, veggie nuggets. Hack number three for sneaking more vegetables into my daughter's diet, I will show you my favorite baby food that comes in a pouch. There's another one I like too, but this one's the best one for being something that's veggie forward. This brand, Sarah Belly, they are really focused on being heavier on the veggies and lighter on the fruit, lighter on the sugar, and really heavy on the brain building nutrients. These are designed by a neuroscientist that specializes in human development and they were like oh my god babies brains need all this stuff to grow and they're doing so much rapid growth and development during this little five-year gap yet all of the baby food on the market is missing a lot of that stuff and is loaded with fruit which is too much sugar which hinders the brain development let me design a food that's going to totally satiate all of those needs for brain development in a little tiny human being. It's such a great thing. It's such a great day to be a parent because I can just buy this and I can feed it to my baby a few times a week and she's getting like DHA and all of these things that I wouldn't have thought about that just totally bolster brain development. My baby's totally crushing it in the brain development department if I must, if I may say so myself. So I would highly recommend it. I will put a link for this food in the description below. So do check it out. And let's see, so those are the three hacks that I have. Cerebelli, the veggie nuggets, and the veggie soups. Truth be told, I also do like a veggie pot pie by Amy's every once in a while. She'll eat a lot of the carrots out of there. There's a um, tofu mock meat in there. And she likes that a little bit. And then I end up eating the rest of it. So let's get on to the basics of getting a baby to eat vegetables. So the first thing that you will learn if you start researching statistical studies on getting a baby to eat more vegetables is don't pressure them too much. Like if you stress them out around eating vegetables and you're like, oh no, you have to eat your vegetables. Oh, you can't have ice cream until you eat your vegetables and create this whole stigma around eating vegetables. Your baby's not going to eat vegetables. They might go into their teens and their adult years never eating vegetables because you created a stigma around it. So if you're already doing that, stop. And if you haven't done that, good. Just don't start doing it. It's kind of hard not to when your baby doesn't want to eat their vegetables and they're asking for candy. But yeah, just, you know, hold strong. Be cool. You got this. So the thing that you should do instead of stressing out and trying to force them to eat vegetables is just introduce a wide variety of vegetables often, frequently, and repeatedly. I know, right? It sounds simple, but basically here's how it looks. My baby has some beets. I take some canned beets. I cut them up. I give them to her. She eats a few of them, throws a few of them on the floor. doesn't seem like she's eating them all that much. The next time I give them to her, she might eat more of them because they're more familiar. And you want to rotate it. You don't want it to just be beets. I found that my baby likes pickles. She sometimes likes tomatoes, olives. Olives have been a hit. And all the time, I'm just introducing more vegetables. I did, ooh, red bell pepper the other day, organic red bell pepper. A lot of the time what I do is I cut the things that I'm giving her into little baby bite-sized pieces. So they're easy to grab off the high chair tray and feed herself so she can explore and experiment at her own pace. But they're very easy to pop into her mouth and chew. So that helps. The other day I introduced some bell pepper. She had had them in fajitas and in uh, other dishes. But I just cut them up and put them on her tray. She put them down so fast and she started saying pepper. She would sound more like pe, pe, because she's, you know, 19 months and babies only say the first syllable of things. But she was indicating where it was on the tray and trying to say pepper, which was really cute. So we just kept cutting up more and more bell pepper and giving it to her. And she was crazy about bell pepper. And I was crazy about the fact that the baby was eating red bell pepper. Another thing I do to sneak a lot of vegetables into my, my life, my husband's life, my baby's life, is I just, like, whenever I'm making a vegetable stir-fry or a soup or a pasta dish, I just take a ton of frozen veggies and just bolster whatever I'm making with extra, extra, extra frozen veggies. 
I have them in the freezer. It makes my life super easy. I don't have to cut things up. I don't have to wash them. They're organic. They're washed, ready to go. I just throw them into whatever I'm making, whether it's like a curry or a stir fry or fajitas or soups or a thing that I really like to do right now is I'll take these lentil based pastas and boil them up and then I'll make like a marinara and vegetable and cheese casserole. Or another thing I can do is I can make my own um, macaroni and cheese with the lentil pasta. You boil up the pasta and you cook the vegetables on the side and then when the vegetables are cooked in the pasta sauce soft, you toss it all together in the saucepan with some butter and some cheese. You stir it up, it melts and boom, you've got homemade macaroni and cheese with a ton of vegetables in it. So stuff like that really does help me help my baby eat more vegetables. It also helps me eat more vegetables, which is great because I'm still breastfeeding and you need to eat a ton of vegetables if you're breastfeeding. It also helps sneak more vegetables into my husband's life because he just loves pizza and grilled cheese sandwiches and tacos. And I don't blame him, but you can't just live off of pizza, even if it's veggie pizza. All right, so those are all of my hacks that I can think of right now for sneaking more vegetables into your toddler's life. If you have any questions or comments, or if you have any ideas about how to sneak more vegetables into a baby's diet, go ahead and comment below. If you like my video, feel free to like my video. And please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because I really, really, really could use the help. All right, wishing you and your family all the best. Have a good one.